It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm bringing you a beer today from Northern Monk Brewing Company and it's a can of their Don't Mess With Yorkshire. Um, I certainly won't after the name or the style of this beer. Um, it's a rhubarb and custard pale ale, 4.5% ABV. So Morrison's have had a beer very recently launched into their supermarket, which was an ice cream sauce beer from Northern Monk. And so Northern Monk have decided to put this one into Asda, a rhubarb and custard pale ale. Ah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it, to be honest. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to think about it. I think the best thing to do is just open it, get it out into a glass and and let's see what we get. It cost me, uh, it cost me craft, it was three pounds a can, but they're four for three in, in Asda. So that's gonna, that's gonna be costing me something like two pound 50 for a can of craft beer. Um, we'll get it open, we'll get it into a glass, see what we get, 440 can. I think this is going to be brewed for people with a bit of intrigue, bit of with people with a little bit of kind of like interested to try new things. They might like it, they might not like it, but the point is they tried it. We got a two finger white head. Uh, good levels of small carbonation. It's hazy, straw coloured. Looks really good. Looks really good to be honest. 4.5% ABV. Uh, let's get the aroma on the beer. Oh wow. Um, as synthetic as they come as synthetic as they come in terms of the aroma this is um do you know if you went to Lidl last year they had kind of little t-shirts little christmas jumpers little trainers i think it's quite funny i think it's quite funny because i think you know if you're the type of person that you don't mind taking the mick out of yourself, you know, buy yourself a pair of little branded trainers or a little little trousers or, or a little treat t-shirt, Christmas jumper, home bargains did Christmas jumpers too. You know, it's it, it's for the people who don't mind taking the mick out of themselves and I'm 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 getting the aroma of this beer and I'm almost thinking to myself Obviously, I don't want to take the mick out myself by drinking this beer, but are Northern Monk having a bit of a laugh with themselves in producing something like this? Um, is it a joke? Is it serious? It smells like a joke. It smells like a complete joke. It smells like ambrosia. It smells like... Concentrated custard. With a little bit of rhubarb in. I'm not sure who they brewed this for. I'm not sure who wants to drink custard in their beer. Shall we dive in? Cheers, everybody. I know who they brewed this for. They brewed this beer for the Haribo crowd. They brewed this beer for people who like to eat bags and bags of sugary sweets.
That's exactly. They brewed this beer for my mother-in-law. They brewed this beer for my mother-in-law. There's probably somebody in your family, or you might know a friend, you probably do know a friend, who will taste beer and go, oh no, it's not for me. It's too bitter. I don't like the taste. Um, yeah, it's just not for me. You will get the, my, my sister, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, all of them, all of them, all of them, hate the taste of normal beer. I can absolutely guarantee you, I could guarantee you that my mother-in-law would love this. My sister-in-law would love this. My sister, mm, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's clever, I don't know, maybe it's... Maybe it's clever thinking by Northern Monk to go, hey, um, let's brew a beer for people who don't like beer. Why do people don't like beer? Because they like sweet stuff, because they like bags of Haribo. Big bucketfuls of pick and mix. You know the type, you know the type of people out there, you know the type of people out there, they would, you know, sit there with a big bucket of pick and mix and eat sweets all night rather than, you know, enjoying a nice cold beer. We've all got them. We all know them. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not for me. It's not for me. Can't stand them pick and mix sweets. Can't stand them. Not for me whatsoever. I love, I love bitter, bitter stuff, you know? Bitter, savoury crisps and bitter pilsners and yeah probably because I'm a bitter person <laughs> I don't know maybe as I mentioned earlier maybe you know them I've just been a bit clever with it um I kind of like, I've gone past the rant now. I've gone past the rant of, or with these beers. Um, obviously, there's got to be a market for this because people, the brewers are brewing it. Tidy Rebel brew it. Brew Dog, to a certain extent, brew it. Now Northern Monk have jumped on the bandwagon. Now they're producing these quite silly beers. Um... I mentioned this in the previous Lager review. Um, I showed this off. Thing I, I mentioned that I'm going to struggle with this review. And I have struggled, to be honest with you. Um, I've struggled with the beer. Yeah, I struggle with the aroma. I struggle with the taste. It's just custard. It's just custard and rhubarb in a can. Um, the more the craft brewing industry becomes gimmicky, and rather silly and maybe taking the mick out of itself maybe kind of like I don't know like self-destructing almost that's that road over there I'm just gonna go down the road of really good tasting German Pilsners and Heller's Lagers and really decent solid English bitters and strong ales and you know but more lager this time of year, more 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 really good German, you know, they, they, they introduced the Reichheischerbot, the, the German purity law for a reason. And it's to stop all of this madness, madness that we have over here in the UK. Um, not a good beer, not a good beer at all. Um, I, I really don't like it and I will be pouring it straight down the sink. Um, I paid... £2.20, £2.25 for a, for a Camden Lager, which is terrific in Morrison's. And it's new, it's a relatively new lager. And I'm looking at this at £2.50 on offer. If you buy it on its own, it's £3 a can. And it's probably one of the worst £3 or £2.50s I've ever spent in my life.
And that's coming from somebody who's brewed a custard cream pale ale with Northern Monk. But we actually use custard cream biscuits. So this beer wasn't the first custard beer made by Northern Monk. My, my beer was. But my beer tasted a lot better than that. that. That's just an absolute gimmick of a beer. It's like ambrosia in a glass. Um, two out of ten. Two out of ten from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.